Hello. Today I have the pleasure of talking to Catherine, who has been an intern here the last, how long? Nine weeks. Nine weeks? Yeah. So tell me, where are you from? Um, I am from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, but I'm currently at university uh, in upstate New York at Cornell, um, and I'm studying mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering? Yes. Cool. So, have you been working on mechanical engineering at Clue? No, I have not. What I've, have you been doing I've here? been working um, with the explorations team, and that basically means that I've been working on product development and wireframing and doing things, figuring out potential places Clue could, could go in the future. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I've also been writing content because writing is a hobby of mine. Very cool. Our content is very important. We make sure that we have really high kind of um, scientific standards and you have been doing a lot of scientific research here which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, what have you learned here? Well part of uh, with, with the product development side and also with the content I've really learned how to research and then to share that effectively with other people and being able to take the knowledge that I have and being able to hopefully cross your fingers effectively communicate with other people things that they might not have been educated about. And now you're going back to school. We're very sad that you're leaving. <laughs> Me but too. Um, is this something that you can use in your studies, do you think? I don't know if I can use it necessarily in my studies, but I think it's going to be something that I will start having more conversations with people about because even talking to friends at school sometimes it's not, it's not very widely talked about about your menstruation or your period or your mm -hmm. cycle. Um, and so just making that a little bit more of a dialogue would be great. And just for me to get a sense of like how you grew up, you say it's not something that people maybe talk so much about. <laughs> did you learn about sexual health and reproductive health at school? I did not learn a ton about it. I went to a Catholic school since I was in kindergarten through high school. So basically what you're taught is abstinent only. You do get a little bit of information about STDs and, and kind of rep repercussions of of being sexually active, especially before marriage. Um, so I, I did not have a great sexual education. And now you, I know that you've gone very deep into <laughs> really understanding how this all works. Yes. Um, how does that feel now to have that knowledge? Oh, it's, it's empowering. It's definitely empowering. And then being able, like I said earlier, to, to share that wisdom with other people is, is really a great thing to have. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It's been really, really <laughs> great to have you. Yeah, it's been great being here.